Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for Pay Us No Mind. And I'm just here with a bit of news on the digital distributor United Masters and their new pricing change. I got an email today, uh, which was like a final notice where United Masters is saying that they're basically doing away with free digital distribution, which was never really free in the first place because they was taking 10% of your revenue on the back end, but free in the sense that you didn't have to pay anything up front. So it didn't cost you anything up front. Now, that free basic tier that they were uh, promoting only allowed you to distribute to five stores, which included things like Spotify and Apple Music and Amazon Music, essentially the core stores. But now they're doing away with that and not distributing to stores at all and restricting it to just like Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, which is more like in the realm of content ID, where they'll monetize like your social media, uh, I guess, promotion, but not digital distribution. So you can't make money from streams or sales for from digital downloads unless you upgrade to select, which is $59.99. So that's a hell of a jump moving from free to paying $60 a year. And that just leads me to my point about free digital distribution in general, where everybody kind of like is always asking me about these new stores offering free digital distribution, sometimes completely free like a Muse used to or with a percentage based system. And I always steer people towards distributors that have been around for a long time and are more stable. So it's like, yeah, a lot of these new distributors pop up and they seem sexy and attractive, but stability, man, you know, so it's like everybody that was on that free tier of United Masters effectively are getting evicted. They got it. They're getting kicked out. So now they either have to pay $60 a year or leave. And because it was free, a lot of artists went there and uploaded tons of music, 40 releases, 50 releases. Now you got to sit down and Go and release those 50, 40 releases with a new distributor within the time frame that you got before this United Masters change takes hold and they just start removing releases. Because once they remove your release, then you lose all of your streaming history and all of that other stuff. So now like this clock is ticking and you got to get your music out of United Masters before they just delete it. So now you got to take the time to do all of this moving over, right? Moving out, get packing up all of your stuff, changing your ISRC codes and your UPC codes, finding out if you haven't been organized, where these releases are, where the music is, where the cover art is, all of the information for the credits and stuff like that, that you got to go and input with another digital distributor and take the time to do it per release. And that's like a lot of work because they're not offering any assistance in the email. So it's like when it comes to these free digital distributors, when they ultimately decide to change their structure, which they inevitably will. So you had or, or you've, you've had already a muse do this where they went from completely free to a percentage based system, which is not the end of the world. Just taking 10 percent of your revenue because you're not getting evicted. But you've had other distributors like STEM, which did evict people and say, you got to get out. And then everybody got to find some place to go. But STEM did try to work with other, other digital distributors to make the process a bit easier, which United Masters doesn't seem like they're doing. There's nothing in that email where they're like, we've had, we have this thing, this tool you can use to move your releases over or whatever. They just want to force you to pay more. They don't want to bring anybody else into it. They just want you to pay more. Now, it's, United Masters was never really a digital distributor that I recommended. No way. But this just adds to why I never recommended them in the first place. So you got digital distributors like TuneCore, which hasn't changed their pricing in decades and until recently, right? And that's like one price change in decades. CD Baby, one price change in decades. DistroKid even, they just recently upgraded their prices, but one price change in decades. So these companies are pretty stable, you know, and there's a new company that I'm intrigued by as well. Verse One Distribution. So they're an option. Now, they also do 
free, no upfront fee, but they have a system where people got to apply. So they're not allowing anybody to join, which is different from a lot of these other platforms that just take anybody because what they end up with is just their systems being overloaded. Because what you guys got to understand is that sometimes there's just one middleman and sometimes there's a middleman that's connected to a middleman, right? So it's like digital distribution. Some of these companies that are popping up, they have uh, di like direct deals with the iTunes and Apple Music and Spotify and stuff like that, where if they're giving you 100% of the revenue, you're getting 100% of the revenue, right? And some of them have a situation where there's middlemen. Some of them got one middleman, like Fuga, where they're paying Fuga per release or whatever have you for the um, digital distribution service. And some are using another digital distributor that's using Fuga. So it's like that digital distributor is paying Fuga and then charging your digital distributor for digital. Dis so it's now it's like the money is going from these guys to those guys to you. And each person is taking a percentage along the way. And if the digital distributor that is like yours that you signed up for has to pay another digital distributor that has to pay another service provider then it's like they're looking at it and they're like okay well we got to pay x amount per release and you're not making money right like you came and you put up 40 releases those 40 releases making a dollar a year ten dollars a year that's not compensating them for the amount that they got to pay the per the the companies that are facilitating the service so they ultimately have to raise their prices or either fold and shut down all together so it's like a lot of these new companies it's just instability and you should just steer clear of them you steer clear of them go where it's stable. Go where you know the reputation is. These companies have been around for a really long time and you don't really have to worry about much, right? Now, I'll link to some of these companies in the description box. So you can check them out. Also, the link tree links to a lot of them too. I got discounts on some of them. CD Baby is like a 50% discount, which is crazy. But yeah, so CD Baby, TuneCore, even DistroKid, all of these different companies, uh, Verse One Distribution, different, di different companies, different things. But yeah, those are companies worth checking out and using. Everybody else, I kind of can't say that I recommend, right? But yeah, uh, free, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about this news. As always, y'all can hit me up at PayUsNoMind on Instagram, at PayUsNoMind on Twitter, PayUsNoMind at gmail.com. This is GIF signing off, PayUsNoMind. Peace, good people. One.